Hello my fellow admins and welcome to another episode of Jira Guides. Void.admin here and in this video I'll show you how you can create and customize Jira workflows. So uh, let's start. So before we go in the workflow creation and customization, I want to go in a project and show you like the base concept of this video and how you can go from a workflow creation and customization to assign that workflow to a specific project. So uh, I'll go in the in this uh, scrum base uh, project and in this uh, project I'll go in the project settings and here as you can see we have multiple issue types and these issue types have a single workflow assigned to them and basically we want as a concept for this video we want uh, let's see the release issue type to have a specific workflow and uh, that workflow to be assigned to this uh, uh, specific project. So uh, we can go in the workflow section and uh, we can use the dot shortcut from the keyboard and we can go in the workflow uh, uh, admin section here. And we just click on workflow and here in this section, in workflow section, you have this add workflow button and in this way you can create a workflow giving uh, the workflow a name. So I have like a naming convention usually when I create a workflow. Basically I start with the project key. So my project key is like scrum. And after that, we just uh, put like two dots here. And after that, let's say workflow uh, for release. Release, this is the issue type and let's say 1.0. Um, like this is the the first version of this workflow basically usually if i'm changing a workflow i will just add like 1.1 here after i update the workflow so i can know uh, how many times uh, the workflow has been changed so uh, we have a name here and we just click add and it goes in the section of this uh, workflow creation and we are in uh, the uh, we have here the text uh, section we have the step id and the link status here and but we need to go in the diagram section and in this section we have like this nice uh, draw layout you can add statuses you can add transition you can manage this uh, workflow to have like a nice nice layout as this layout can be seen by by users so basically now we want to create uh, new statuses or you, we can use uh, the existing ones. So let's say that for release, uh, we want uh, like five statuses and maybe we can uh, start with open. So basically this is like the first status uh, that it's uh, available after you create the ticket. So basically you press this uh, create button here. After that, the create uh, screen will appear. You fill out the mandatory fields and you just uh, press the create button basically this is the transition of create and it will go in the open status and after that uh, we need a new status let's say that for a release we need uh, the release to be approved so uh, we can use the approved uh, status here i already have like approved status in uh, in my uh, my jira environment so i'll use this one so uh, let's make it like a nice layout here. So basically after you add a, a new status uh, to the workflow, it, it's like uh, independent, like it doesn't have any transition uh, tied to any other uh, statuses here. So let's add a new status and let's say that this status in, is in progress. So this is also an existing one in progress. And after uh, in progress, let's say that we have <clears throat> we have the deploy status this is like a new status and we need to create it so deploy status and we just uh, uh, have this new window create new status so basically here we need to choose the category of this status and let's say that this is also in progress because you are deploying it and we can create it and after the deploy um, we have uh, let's say the testing phase, which could be like a, a in progress status. So the testing, this is also a, a status that I already have in my environment. So let's also put this status here and let's add like the closed status of this release. Like we close the status, which is uh, in productive or something like this. And we uh, can choose to close the ticket so i'll add it here like to have like a 
a pretty simple layout in order for you to uh, see the transition uh, very well. So right now we have all the status that we needed and we add, need to add the transitions. So there are two ways in order to add a transition. You can use this button add transition or you can drag and drop uh, using like these small circles uh, that every status has. Like there are like eight on uh, every statuses and you can drag and drop uh, transitions from here. But I will use first of all the add transition button. So uh, we want from open, which is like the first status to approved. And let's say that this is approve because this is like the action of the transition. You click on approve and it goes to uh, approved status. And now as you can see, it has this uh, weird uh, transition here because it was added from the button. So I usually like to add it uh, using this drag and drop. So I will move this uh, here just for a uh, better layout uh, of the statuses. So basically it goes open and then approved like a cascade, like a waterfall. So uh, I will use this method with uh, the other statuses. So I'll go in progress here. So let's say this is in progress and I will just add it. And now from in progress, let's say we want uh, status to deploy and let's say deployment and let's add the transition. And now we want to add the deployment to testing and we can add it here, just testing phase. I have it saved here and we just press add uh, transition and it will add the testing phase transition. So now after the testing phase transition, we need to add a uh, transition to closed status and we can do it like this and, oh, sorry. We can drag and drop it to close and just put it like close. And now I'll just add it. So I'll not want to add like to fully customize this workflow. This is like an example how you can create and customize your own workflow. Now we have the base workflow here, but we want to add this workflow to, the, to that specific project that we uh, were previously. So now what we need to, uh, to do is to leave this place because this is like a, a draft that was already saved by, uh, by Jira. So we need to go in the project, in the Scrum project here, and we need to go back in the project settings. And in this uh, project settings, we have uh, this uh, workflow section and the workflow section is in, the, in this uh, left panel here. And we have here workflows. We click on this uh, workflow section and it goes in the workflows of this video. But actually this is like the uh, workflow scheme that is used for this project. And in this workflow scheme, uh, we have like this one uh, particular workflow that we spoke in the beginning of this video, which is assigned to all issue types from this project. And as you can see that this scheme is used by only this project. So uh, bear in mind, if you have a scheme that is used in, on multiple project, every, um, every change that you do on that scheme, let's say you add a workflow, will, uh, with, uh, will apply to all projects that are using that scheme. So if you want uh, uh, like to customize some workflows or you want to add a workflow to a particular uh, uh, workflow scheme, make sure that it's used only by one project. If not, just create another workflow scheme, which is uh, basically the same and you only add a workflow uh, in that scheme and just uh, switch the scheme for, uh, for that project. But be aware of that, that this, uh, that the scheme could be used by multiple projects and make sure you don't uh, do any changes there. So now we want to uh, add the workflow, as we said on this project, and we have this uh, add workflow here and we can add an existing workflow which we created uh, previously. So we created that uh, Scrum workflow for uh, the release issue type. So we just press add existing and now we have the list of workflows that are on, uh, on our environment here and we just simply uh, look for our workflow that we created and we created Scrum workflow for release 1.0. And we have this simple layout here and we just go in the next button here, we click next. And the next um, screen is prompted for us with the issue types that we want to assign this uh, current workflow. And we want to assign it for 
the release issue type and we just press finish. Great, and now we are uh, back in the in the workflow uh, scheme section of this project. And as you can see, uh, basically uh, our scheme uh, added a new workflow as uh, it has been assigned to the release uh, issue type. So as you can see in the Scrum workflow, we don't have the issue type release anymore. It's down here with uh, this new workflow that we created. And now uh, uh, Jira prompts us with uh, a message that we are editing a draft so there are unpublished changes so every change that you do uh, needs to be published or you can discard it or, or also if uh, you don't want to do any mistakes so we want to publish it so we'll click on publish and now basically uh, it, if it finds um, uh, when you publish a workflow it looks in the issue types that are already created of that uh, uh, for that workflow so basically it needs to do a mapping of the current statuses to the new statuses so if I already uh, let's say created like multiple releases on one release uh, issue type it will need to do the map so let's say that for done uh, status we have the closed status as we uh, created for our workflow and we associate it and uh, we need to wait a bit and we acknowledge the publish. So now, as you can see, we have like a workflow that we created for uh, for a lease issue type, and it's basically uh, a customized workflow. If we click on it, it goes in the workflow, and you can see the workflow as we created. Uh, and basically now for this project, we have two workflows, one is used for the release issue types and one is used for the other issue types. So that was it for this video, uh, like it if you like it, I will kindly appreciate if you uh, subscribe to my channel as this helps me a lot and don't forget that in the description below you can find uh, my discord and also you can find my git repository with all the templates that I create for Jira and uh, script runner and uh, that was it. I hope that I can uh, see you in the next video and uh, thank you very much for being here with me. Peace!